Hello everybody, Joey66, and yes, I'm wearing a Ford hat to talk about the big Fiat, Chrysler, and PSA merger, which will be Stellantis. No idea why I'm wearing the Ford hat, but I just realized as I sat down, so I'm just going to keep it on. I know it makes no sense. It has nothing to do with the video, but that's okay. Just a quick one today, guys. Uh, if you haven't heard the news, the uh, merger between uh, Fiat, Chrysler, the people that make our Challengers and Chargers, which are what most of us are watching this channel for, um, has now merged with Peugeot, uh, Citroën, the PSA group, and uh, this will make the uh, company the third largest uh, automaker in the world behind VW and Toyota. Um, I had made a video about this a few months ago, uh, actually, probably quite a few months ago, actually, um, and of course this was supposed to have happened, but like all things in our world today, it's been delayed because of you know what, I don't even want to say the word, the thing we hear about every day on the news now. But anyway, it's been delayed, but they finally got this uh, merger done as of yesterday. So uh, Fiat Chrysler Automobiles will no longer exist. It will be part of this Stellantis group. Um, Stellantis means to brighten with the stars or to brighten in the sky or something like that. Uh, you guys can look up that uh, definition, but that's what Stellantis means. Anyway, it's going to be a huge car company. And one of the main reasons that this is happening is so that they can... Uh, there's a couple reasons, I guess, from what I read. The main one being they're, all these companies are kind of... Uh, behind in the electric car thing and uh, most of the other larger car companies in the world are, are pretty far ahead of them in the, in the electric car, the EV market and the EV technology. So they want to catch up and I guess they figure if they work together they can, because uh, they've all got some inroads in there but not enough. So if they work together they can take a giant leap forward in that area as well as selling in China. Uh, no matter whether we like it or not, China is a huge market and you need to sell cars there if you want to make money. So um, none of these car companies have a very big foothold in China. And I think that's another one of the reasons from what I read that uh, they want to come together and try to uh, try to get uh, their foot in the door in China at least and uh, see how that goes. But according to uh, the company, they're going to be able to save about that's something like six or seven billion dollars a year uh, in research and development and all these other uh, all these other things. Um, and they say they can do this without closing anybody's plants anywhere, so hopefully there won't be a lot of jobs affected by this, but uh, that remains to be seen. You know, they're, they, like they're, they were already talking about that they have uh, much more capacity to build cars than they actually need because of this huge merger. They have all these factories now. They could easily, um, you know, make the cars that they need to make, so uh, with, with, you know, room to spare. So we'll see if they end up closing any plants or not. Hopefully not. Some of the top guys at, at what was FCA will be running the show basically for the North American division and then the uh, European guys will be doing the, basically what they were doing over there. It's just going to be one big company. We'll see what happens. What do you guys think? Uh, is, this, uh, is this good news? Is this bad news? Especially when it comes to the muscle cars that we like, the Charger and the Challenger. Um, I don't know what it means. I know that uh, the world we live in, uh, more and more companies are kind of doing this kind of thing. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, I mean, GM and Ford actually developed a transmission together recently. So um, this is happening more and more. Um, and I think it's going to happen more and more. We're going to see it more and more. There's going to be actually less and less companies because they're all going to be merging together. Um, whether that's good or bad, I don't know. I'm certainly not an economic uh, expert in any, by any uh, stretch of anyone's imagination. But I just think it's an interesting story that this is going to be now the third largest automaker in the world. What do you guys think? Good, bad? What's it mean for our cars? I don't know. What do you think? I mean, as far as our Dodge cars have gone and Chrysler and Jeep and all that, I mean, it's been, the company's been around, uh, it was owned by part of Mercedes before, uh, not long ago, and that's actually our challenges are built, are built on a Mercedes, uh, and, Char and Chargers are built on a Mercedes platform, basically, and uh, from the back in the day when they were part of Mercedes, because they haven't really updated the car, and uh, what is it now? 13 years or something since then it's been with fiat so it's been fiat chrysler and now it's going to become this huge company so i don't know just some interesting things to throw around some stuff to think about i know that uh i believe some of the ceos of the new company will be uh at the new york stock exchange on tuesday morning to ring the bell and uh i don't know that's not really worth watching but uh interesting uh, we'll see what happens, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Again, just let me know what you think down below. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to try to probably do a live stream tonight. We'll see if I get called into work again. I won't be there, so I guess if I'm not there, you'll know what happened.
but uh, take my daughter back to college tomorrow. Got a lot going on, so pretty happy about that. But uh, anyway, put your comments down below. What do you think? Take care. This is Joy66, and a quick news story. That's about it, guys. Thanks. See you next time.